What's up guys, Matt here from Become Elite and today I'm going to show you a complete workout that you can do in a one by one yard box. I get a ton of players coming up to me, messaging me, commenting, saying, Matt, I can't do these workouts, I can't train, I haven't been able to train for months because I don't have a field, I don't have a full size goal, I don't have any space, I, I can't train. And I say, you're just making excuses because all you need is a one by one yard box of space and a ball. If you can't even go outside, do it in your garage. If you don't have a garage, do it in just a little space in your living room or your bedroom. I'm gonna show you a full 30 minute workout that you can do just staying in this space. The first exercise that we're gonna do is bell taps. So with bell taps, you're basically just gonna ping the ball back and forth between your left and right foot. You wanna go as quickly as possible, just back and forth, left and right, left and right. You're gonna do this for a minute straight and then take a 30 second break. Every exercise that I'm gonna show here is a minute straight of the exercise and a 30 second rest. The next exercise I'm gonna show you is called ball taps. For ball taps, what you're gonna do is just put the ball right smack dab in the center of the grid and just do high steps on top of the ball. You're gonna barely just tap the ball with the sole of your foot, come back down and then do it with the other foot. The next exercise is forward backward rolls. For this, what you're gonna do is take the ball under the sole of one of your feet, roll it forward with the sole, and then pull it right back. And then just do that quickly. Repeat that with the left foot. Next, we're gonna do the same exact thing, but we're gonna go right to left instead of forward and back. So using the sole of your foot of just one foot, you're gonna go back and forth, right and left. I like to open up and close my hips quickly as I do this to really exaggerate that motion. The next exercise is what I call Brazilian rolls. So for this, you're gonna take the ball under the sole of your right foot, and then you're gonna flick it over quickly using that same sole over to your left foot. You're gonna stop it with the sole of your left foot and then flick it back over. It should be fast. You should be flicking back and forth as fast as you can. The next exercise is straight line V-taps. For straight line V-taps, what you're gonna do is take the ball right on the ground and tap it forward with the outside of your foot so it goes directly in front of you. Once you tap it forward, you're gonna immediately use the sole and roll it back towards you and then just repeat. The next exercise is single leg V-taps. So this is kind of like the same thing where you're gonna push it out with the outside of your foot, but this time, instead of going straight out in front of you, you're gonna push the ball out diagonally. And then you're gonna roll it back using the sole of your foot and then tap the ball out the other diagonal direction with the instep of your foot and then roll it back with the sole. You're basically gonna make that V motion over and over again. The next drill is V-taps double feet. So what you're gonna do is gonna tap the ball with the instep of your right foot out diagonally to your left side and then pull it back using the right foot, the sole of the right foot back to the origin. And then once you get here, you're gonna do the same exact thing but with the left foot on the other side. And you're just gonna repeat that V formation that you just keep doing over and over again. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the ball in the middle of your body again and tap it out diagonally to your right using the outside of your right foot. Once it goes about a foot, you're gonna roll that ball back to your center of your body using the sole of the right foot. You're gonna take that ball with the left foot now, the outside of the left foot, and do the same thing on the opposite side and repeat. The next exercise is just simple juggling below the knee. So every single juggle we're gonna take is just gonna be below knee height. And all we're gonna do is just use our right foot. The next exercise is the same exact thing, below knee height juggling, but just with the left foot. After that, the next exercise we're gonna do is juggling below knee height, but alternating feet. So it has to go right, left, right, left, right, left. Now we're gonna to start to get a little bit more complicated. This is called the spinning croif. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull back the ball with your right foot, the sole of your right foot back behind you, and then tap it so it goes behind your left foot, your plant foot. And then as soon as you do that, you're gonna turn 90 degrees towards your left and pick it up again with the sole of your right foot. And then once you have it, you're gonna pull it back again and then tap it again behind you. And just keep on doing that as you're spinning and doing that pull back tap, or what I like to say, the spinning croy. After you do that, the next exercise you're gonna do is the reverse of that. So you're gonna tap the ball out in front of you and then with the sole of your foot, roll it to the left side of your left foot. You're gonna spin 90 degrees backside right and you collect the ball again with the sole of your right foot and keep repeating. You should be spinning around backside left as you do this. So now we're just gonna do pull back taps with both feet. So with this, you're gonna take the ball, roll it behind you and tap it behind your left foot, just like we're gonna do the spinning croy. But instead of turning, what you're gonna do is plant that right foot down, lift the left foot up, catch it, and then do the same pull back tap with the left foot. And then just do this as quick as possible. 
These exercises are kind of advanced, so if it's hard for you, just go slow and just get down the form and the basic motion of it. Once you start getting better, you can start ramping up the speed. The next exercise is bell taps clock. I call it bell taps clock because you're gonna ping the ball back and forth just like the bell taps, like the first exercise. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in the center of the square and then you're gonna ping back and forth as you slowly go forward and then come right back to the center. And then you're gonna go diagonally out to the cone and come back to the center. Then out to the right, back to the center. And you keep on doing that forward, diagonally, right, diagonally backwards, backwards, all the way around until you get back to the very front again. Ball taps clock is the same exact motion that we're gonna do, but instead of doing it with the bell taps, you're just gonna do it with ball taps. So by ball taps, I'm talking about the high step on top of the ball. The next drill we're gonna do is just inside outside. So it's gonna go inside of your right to the outside of your left. So you're gonna go this whole two touches to the left. Then you're gonna tap the ball the other way with the inside of your left foot and then continue that same direction with the outside of your right foot. And then you're just gonna repeat that going faster and faster. Now we're gonna start doing a little bit more freestyling stuff. So for this next drill, you're just gonna do a minute of just cuts. But you're gonna do really small, concise dribbles and then once you get to one of the sides, perform a cut and then do small precise dribbles until you get to the other side and then do another cut. And you're just gonna go back and forth between this small space, just working on that tight space dribbling. Finally, it's just gonna be a minute of freestyle dribbling. Do all the cuts, turns, moves, touches that you can think of in this tight space. Be creative. After that, there you go. You just did an entire 30 minute plus workout with 20 different exercises and all you needed was a ball and one by one yard of space. There's no excuse why you can't do this drill today, right now. So what I want you to do is get off the computer or off your phone and just do this 30 minute workout with the ball. All I want you to do is then like this video, subscribe to this channel, and then comment if you did this full workout and tell me what you think. Have a good day.